Hi guys, welcome back. We are going to read chapter 13 of Two Dogs in a Trench Coat Go to School. The next time he saw her, Watto did tell Mrs. Tui that she should give the children cookies when they got something right. It wouldn't make them so happy, said Watto. Us. I mean, us humans make us humans happy. We don't reward with food here, said Mrs. Tui. I don't think children should get sweets for doing a good job. I think the reward is knowledge gained. Sweets? You said cookies. Oh, I'm in something more like beef cookies. I've never heard of beef cookies, Salty. Well, said Wado, that is something we had all the time in Liver, Ohio. We got, we got beef cookies to reward us for a job well done. Huh? said Mrs. Tui. Well, time to hustle into class. We have an exciting day of science experiments ahead of us. Salty sat at their desk, and Mrs. Tui put a large box of ta box on a table at the front of the room. You all know what the five senses are, said Mrs. Tui. Sight, touch, smell, hearing, and taste. Today we'll be, we will be working on some experiments to help you refine your knowledge of how each of those senses work for you in your day-to-day -day lives. We already know all this stuff, said Bax. We learned about the senses last year. That is because Bay Ar Arthur Memorial, <laughs> Memorial, oh my goodness, Bay Arthur Memorial, Memorial Elementary School and Learning Commons is giving you a stellar education, said Mrs. Tui. However, the state believes that you should be learning about the senses this year, and they're going to put it on the test. So we're doing a quick review of it today, just to make sure you all remember it. Plus, we have some new students this year. She looked at Salty and Wado smiled. This will just be an overview of the topic today. It'll be fun and you might learn something new, but I know you can handle more. We'll get more meaty topics later in the year. <gasps> oh, I'm looking forward to that, said Wado. Good, said Mrs. Tui. What kind of meat, said Wado. I was talking about science. Salty, said Mrs. Tui. Do you think the meat topics will be tomorrow, said Wado. No, said Mrs. Tui. She took five rubber balls out of the box and set them on the table in a line. Wado's ears swiveled as he stared at them. Would someone pull the blinds down, please? Thank you. Now, what color are, are these balls? A girl named Arden raised her hand. Orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Yellow, 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 blue, and purple, said Waddle quietly. Very good, Mrs. Tui told Arden. Now, all turn off the lights. What color are the, are the balls? They're gray, said Arden. You are a magic teacher, said Waddle. That's because humans can't see colors in the dark, said Mrs. Tui. Moving on. Mrs. Tui put three small black boxes on the table. Each had a round opening in the front covered by a piece of black fabric. I need a few volunteers to try to determine what the objects in these boxes are using only their sense of touch. Stuart raised his hand. Sassy nudged Waldo and he raised his paw. The dogs loved volunteering for things and doing things with Stuart. Also, they wanted Mrs. Tui to think that they were good dogs. One more volunteer, said Mrs. Tui. Oh, what the hay, said Bax, raising his hand. I'm bored anyway, might as well stand up for a while. Terrific, said Mrs. Tui. We'll work down the line from left to right. You'll each stick your hand in and tell me what you think is in the box. And then I'll open it and we can all see if you were right. Go ahead, children. Stuart stuck his hand in the first box. I don't know, it's rough. Is it an old book? Back stuck his hand in. Nah, that's not a book. I think it's lizard skin. 
Watto sniffed the box. It's sandpaper. He sniffed again. 80 grit sandpaper. You didn't even put your hand in, said Bax. Sure I did. I was just really fast, like a superhero. You missed it. Mrs. Tui opened the box and made a big show of pulling the item out. Sandpaper! Salty is right. Do you see, though, how not being able to use all of your senses can make it hard to understand what one of your senses is telling you? This isn't lizard skin at all. Right, Bax? Okay, the second box. It's scratchy and soft at the same time, said Stuart. A sponge? It feels like a teddy bear I had once, said Bax. I mean, probably some dumb old bear. Watto made a, made a big show of putting his paw into the box before leaning over to smell it. It's a piece of fabric, 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It is plaid. Mrs. Tui opened the box and lifted out a swatch of plaid fabric. How could you feel that it was plaid, said Bax. No one can feel that. You're cheating. The way it's woven. I can feel that. Last box, said Mrs. Tui. Ribbons, said Stuart. Dead worms, probably, said Bax. Grass, said Watto. Grass from behind the school. It was cut with a pair of scissors yesterday afternoon. Of course you're going to be right, said Bax. And it was. Salty was very good at all of the experiments Mrs. Tui had them do, but mostly because they could always smell what the answer was. For the sound experiment, Mrs. Tui rang a gong. She played an accordion. She walked around the room, hitting a drumstick against various surfaces, and then she blew into a small metal tube. <gasps> Hello, said Watto. She blew it again. Hi, said Watto. What are you needing? We are here to help. The other students looked at Watto, confused. It's fine, Salty, said Mrs. Tui. That's a dog whistle, students. We can't hear it, but dogs can. Because their ears register higher frequencies than ours. She blew into the whistle one more time. <gasps> yes, hi, hello, said Waldo. Moving on, said Mrs. Tui. Well, that's not good. They responded to the dog whistle. Salty was also the only one who got everything correct during the actual smell experiment, when they had to identify smells from scratch and sniff cards. Nutmeg, Waddle said, smelling the last card. You got all 25, said Mrs. Tui. That's astounding. You have one heck of a sniffer. I sure do, said Waddle. I am a super smeller, that's a thing. A lot of humans from Liver, Ohio are super smellers. I bet you can smell how much learning is happening, said Mrs. Tui. I'm kidding, of course. But I bet you can, right? Can you smell how good of a teacher I am? You are the best teacher. I can also tell that you had chicken for dinner last night and you had a fight with your boyfriend. He said it was too spicy. Oh, never mind. It's almost time to go home. Neat in your desk, everyone. Your only homework for tonight is to put the finishing touches on your big project since it's almost the very exciting day when you'll be when you'll be presenting them, as well as turning in the information sheet, without which I will remind you, you will have no hope and you will fail. Stuart frowned as he put a book into his backpack. He looked into his desk to see if he should bring anything else. It was hard to tell. His desk was a mess of papers and pencils. He shoved the papers into the desk deeper, sighed, and zipped his backpack. Pretty cool how you can smell that stuff, said Bax. I'm very cool, said Watto. I didn't say you were very cool, said Bax. Are you sure? It smelled like you did. Bax tried to look angry, but smiled despite himself and went back to his desk. I've never seen Bax speechless before, said Stuart. He is our friend, said Waldo. 
I don't think so, said Stuart. I really hope we get to do meat science tomorrow, said Waldo. All right, and that is the end of chapter 13. Thanks for listening.